Well, for more on the reaction of Hussein Abbasi, here's a clip of his interview with France 24 a little earlier. We expected this award in 2014, but everything comes in time. We didn't win in 2014, we were next in line. This year we got it and I feel proud, lucky and happy for Tunisia. For those who were represented during the political crisis in 2013, and for those who led the national dialogue. While well, among the first to react to the Nobel Committee's choice of peace laureate was French leader François Hollande. Take a lesson. With this prize, all of the countries involved in the Arab Spring remember what they haven't been able to do and what Tunisia alone has. Free and fair elections and an established democracy. Today, I'm pleased for all Tunisians because those people in the quartet, those organizations, I had met before becoming president and after, and I know what the significance of the prize means. And I want to congratulate those involved who today have been truly recognized for what they've done in Tunisia. And for more on this, we can cross now to our Tunis correspondent, Sandro Lutiens. Sandro, hello, thank you for being with us on France 24. Uh, can you start by telling us more about the joint laureates of this prize and their work? Well, the, 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 the quartet has four actors. It is uh, the Workers' Union, then the Employers' Union, the Bar Association, and uh, the Tunisian League for Human Rights. Uh, at least three of them have been historical opponents uh, to the dictatorship before 2011, and they have now even uh, more weight in, in, the, in the political process since then. Now, in 2013, what happened was that they had, we had a political crisis, a huge political crisis in Tunisia after uh, the assassination of the lawyer Shukri Belaid and uh, of the MP Mohamed Brahmi then in uh, July of 2013. Mass protests outside the parliament. Uh, many of the MPs wouldn't go to the assembly anymore. They were sitting in with the, with the protesters and the democratic transition was literally blocked. Now, this reward for, uh, for the quartet is actually a reward for civil society, a civil society that has been enduring much but always working towards, uh, towards the success of a democratic uh, transition. And the initiative of the National Dialogue has had its ups, uh, its ups and downs, but in the end it was a success because we had a new constitution, we had a new, uh, a new technocratic government, and then elections at the end of last year. So we can say it's a, it's a success. One of the actors, the Workers' Union, was already nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize last year, didn't get it, got it this year. And Sandra, have there been any more official reactions to this announcement in Tunisia? There have been obviously uh, official reactions for, for several hours. We waited for official reactions because it was an enormous surprise here in Tunisia. Many, actually, many Tunisians on the street didn't even know that the quartet with the National Dialogue was uh, nominated. Uh, but now some actors of the quartet have uh, have spoken out. Have spoken out. They've uh, talked about uh, about this prize being a proof that the di with dialogue we can actually solve any difficulties, that it is a signal for other countries in the region, like Libya, like Syria, and, and, um, and definitely that consensus is uh, here today the most important word in Tunisia, consensus between the political parties, a consensus uh, uh, of, of the civil society with, uh, the, uh, with the political parties, and, uh, and they are obviously all very proud that the efforts have been recognized and rewarded with this prize.